Tonight, executions caught on tape. The audio recordings are unique pieces of Virginia history as the debate over capital punishment continues. Capitol Bureau reporter Olivia Jafif has more from Richmond. Well, a Library of Virginia spokesperson tells me the tapes were donated to them back in 2006 by a former Department of Corrections employee who has since died. But how he ended up with them and why they were given to the library remains unclear. Four audio tapes of executions carried out by Virginia's Department of Corrections are believed to be among the only recordings of capital punishment available to the public in the U.S. They were, until recently, in the possession of the Library of Virginia. The tapes actually have been hidden in plain sight. While there, local author Dale Brumfield had a chance to listen to the recordings. You can hear the generator cutting on prior to the electric chair being charged. It's very odd and very unsettling to hear this regimented way that the department is going through to take a life. On January 27th, a library spokesperson says the recordings were returned to the Department of Corrections to, quote, be kept together until such a time as they choose to deposit the whole collection in the state archives, end quote. Richard Dieter works with the Death Penalty Information Center. The nonprofit tracks and opposes capital punishment, which was abolished in the Commonwealth in 2021. Results have been sometimes long and torturous kind of processes happening in the execution chamber. Usually the government is, is required to, to be transparent about how it spends the, the taxpayer's money and how it is uh, representing the public. But in this area, there's been a lot of secrecy, uh, not just in Virginia, but uh, all over the country. Dieter and Brumfield say the tapes are key to transparency and making sure history does not repeat itself. It's important to get this perspective from the Department of Corrections side, but it's also very important too to weigh that perspective with perspectives of other people who were there. These recordings are a small part of the story. There's a lot more to these executions, so they are a starting point, not an end result. And later requests for the tapes, which total at least 35 recordings, according to the Associated Press, have been denied by the Department of Corrections. Reporting in Richmond, I'm Olivia Jaquith.